sup, squad? Hope you all like condiments, because I got all the sauce. Huh? I arrested a tween shoplifter yesterday, and she was real cool at talking. I love you, Amy, but maybe slang isn't your thing. <laughs> Whatevs. Check it. I got a copy of last year's workplace conflict presentation. All we have to do is study the crap out of it. Then we can answer every question before that tool from HR even asks it. We'll be done in no time. So your solution for getting us out of the boring seminar is having us memorize the boring seminar. Exactly. It's genius, and it's fun. I love committing things to memory. Yeah, I'm out. I don't do homework. You do now. Get busy, you flop. Flop? It means loser, OK? It's new slang. People are saying it. The tween said so. Hello, squad. My name is Brad Portenberg, and today I'm going to teach you about workplace conflict. So I brought along someone who's an expert in conflict, my ex-wife. Just kidding. She lives in Vermont with our kids. So, can anyone tell me what a stereotype is? The Irish are potato-eating drunks. And the gays... Uh, no, no, no. What does the word stereotype mean? Uh... I got this, fellas. It's a preconceived, often prejudiced notion about a group of people. Great. And can anyone tell me what a protected class is? A group of people with a common characteristic that is legally protected from employment discrimination. And how many protected classes are 20. there? Twenty. Wow. It seems like I have myself a star pupil. Honey, you have no idea. Listen, Denise, I felt personally attacked when you included sesame bagels at the bagel brunch knowing full well I'm allergic. I developed a rash. Says you, Ainsley. I believe food allergies are a hoax. Perhaps your rash is from all that makeup you wear. This is an office, not some downtown dancery. OK, great. Now, in this role play, who can tell me what went wrong? Denise should have made reasonable accommodations given Ainsley's medical issue. Ainsley unnecessarily heightened the conflict by assuming that Denise had a personal vendetta, and Denise shouldn't have responded to Ainsley's complaint with an ad hominem attack. My thoughts exactly. I concur. Yep. Wow. I'm really disappointed that I have nothing to correct you on. That was amazing. I have never had a group finish this entire seminar that quickly before. It reminds me of a really funny joke about <laughs> I'm laughing already. Great seminar, sad it's over, but it is. So see ya. Actually, I have good news. State law requires that this seminar be no less than six hours. So I guess we'll spend the next two hours diving into specific conflicts about this workplace and solving them. But we beat you. We beat you with study. Brad. My funny friend, we don't need this training. We don't have any workplace conflicts. Oh, there's always conflict somewhere. Now, it could be something small, like a pet peeve, or... Hitchcock slept with my wife, Kelly, in 1988! So Kelly was his wife, not his dog. Well, I got a bean to boil, too. Santiago always tries to finish my sentences and frequently gets it wrong. I do not, and I am not wrong. You do it all the... Time? No, I was going to say all the day long. See? Frequently wrong. I dog sat for Scully, and he never thanked me. Kelly was a real handful. Wait, I'm confused again. Kelly was a dog? There were two Kellys. You'd know that if you'd ever listened to my podcast. OK, dude, just relax. Don't tell us to relax just because you're too nice to have any pet peeves. Oh, Terry's got peeves. Terry hates the way you always make mouth noises when you eat. Nyam, nyam, I'm Rosa. I'm eating a croissant. Nyam, nyam. How's this for a mouth noise? You suck. No, you suck. As do you, as do you, and you. Oh, yeah? Well, you're all a bunch of floats. Well, this is the float right here. Yeah. You are the definite at the moment. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. OK, yeah. okay yeah. guys. That is our six hours. The seminar is over. I'm really proud of you guys. Lots of good progress here today. You're welcome.